Super Saturday morning, my friends. Once again, hearty welcome to the online classes of St. Thomas School, Maua. In the grammar session, today we are going to deal with the third chapter that is countable and uncountable nouns. Countable and uncountable nouns are the categories of nouns. And we shall see first what I mean by countable nouns. Then we shall go to see what you mean by uncountable nouns. So the nouns that have plurals are called countable nouns. That means those things can be counted as the name stands. So in that one, there will be common as well as the collective nouns. For example, girl, girls, table, tables, tables, mountain, mountains, army armies third thirds now we have five rules concerning this countable nouns that is what we are going to see suppose you have a pencil you can just mark each rule first one is a singular countable noun always requires an article before it you know about the articles a and the so among these three we need to use at least one article with a singular countable noun for example i saw an elephant on the road today sudeep has an uncle in yemen the chair is broken so first rule is to put an article before it and now second rule single countable nouns take a singular verb Plural countable nouns take a plural verb. That means with the countable singular countable nouns, we need to use only the singular verb. For example, the pen is in my bag. Since pen is a singular countable noun, we have used is. But look at the next sentence. The pens are in my bag. Since we have used the plural of pen, that is pens we have used the verb are so the pens are in my bag the child loves happily there child is a singular countable noun so we have used loves as the singular verb the children laugh happily the same rule applies there too children is a plural countable noun and laugh is a plural verb and the next rule the third one we use singular pronouns for singular countable nouns we use pronouns in the plural for plural countable nouns as we have told um, about the singular verb uh, using of singular verbs with the singular countable noun we need to use the singular pronoun with the singular countable nouns for example, a dog ran after me or an angry man is in his own enemy. The apples were bad. I threw them away. The Guptas have left. They were in a hurry. First of all, let us take the first sentence. A dog ran after me. It nearly hit me. So friends, what is the pronoun which is being used? It is the pronoun is used in the sentence, the second sentence. So, since it is a dog, it has been used, it. But look at the third sentence. The apples were bad, I threw them away. There, the apples are plural countable nouns. So, we use them in the next sentence. Or, the Guptas have left, they were in a hurry. The Guptas are being used as a plural countable noun so it is they now uh, the next rule that is the fourth one we uh, use words like a few a lot of many one two etc with the countable nouns for example i have a few bangles there are many people in the shop now uh, the fifth, fourth fifth rule that is in negative statements we use 
many before a countable noun for example i don't have many bangles they are in many people in the store we have one more rule that is uh, the sixth one very often any is used in negative statements when something is not present i don't have any bangles there are in any people in the store that means there will not be anyone in the, before that uh, we, with the use of many we have seen that there will be a few but any means there, there is nothing at all for example i don't have many bangles that means i have a few bangles but uh, i don't have any bangles that means i don't have a single bangle now we are going to see about uncountable nouns as you know just opposite to countable nouns uncountable noun will not have any plural so we cannot use any words like one two three many or any etc for example tea oil water air wheat and uh, in the next uh, page you have a list of uncountable nouns after uh, after dealing with this one we shall go to the next page and see here too um, we can uh, say almost four rules have been uh, given uh, before that what do you mean by uncountable nouns a small paragraph is given there uncountable nouns are generally material nouns so uncountable nouns are generally material nouns for example wood silk cloth it can also be an idea or a quality and what do you mean by that nouns abstract nouns so abstract nouns can be uh, called as uncountable nouns that means for example knowledge anger fear beauty love kindness etc because we cannot count these things now what are the rules first one is uncountable nouns have only singular form in the countable nouns we have seen that it can be both singular as well as plural so we cannot add anything before or any s yes or in we cannot add anything for example rice wheat flour water we cannot say a water or we cannot say waters now the second rule uncountable nouns always take a singular verb in the countable nouns we can we have seen that if the singular countable noun comes then we need to use the singular verb if it is a plural countable noun we need to use the plural uh, uh, verb but here only the singular verbs to be used plus we need to use the singular pronoun so two things only the singular verb as well as the singular pronoun for example the money is on your table will it be enough we cannot say the money is are on the table we cannot say so we use money is on the table then we use will it be enough there it we use now the weather is perfect it is just like just the right weather for a picnic there the weather is being used so we cannot say the weathers are perfect so we use the weather is perfect now the next rule we cannot use the indefinite article with the countable nouns the definite article may however we use that means the definite article the can be used for example the juice is juice in the fr fridge is fresh we cannot say a juice but uh, we need to buy furniture for the office uh, office we cannot say a furniture and we cannot say a rice but little rice we need some glass for the window pane we can we need a glass we never tell but we use a uh, some glass so there are uh, four rules there too so just mark with your pens and just underline uh, with your pencil uh, whatever the rule is now uh, here in the next page we have a few uncountable nouns given for example uh, solids bread butter cream and uh, uh, that list can be called then liquid water tea coffee juice then gases air oxygen smoke and stream 
then grains or particles rice wheat dust sand hair grass etc then abstract nouns health love fun peace honesty intelligence music then material nouns wood glass paper cement steel then a set of familiar items are given then languages activities elements of nature now we shall enter into a small uh, part here we cannot use uncountable nouns in the plural but we can indicate a number with the uncountable nouns as we have told we cannot use any plural for uncountable nouns but we can indicate uncountable nouns uh, by using of then a singular countable noun to be put before first of all understand that under uncountable nouns will not have any plurals but we can make plurals by adding a singular countable noun or a word then of then this uncountable noun for example dust dust is an uncountable noun so we use of dust then layers of dust so layers is a countable noun um, then of then dust so remember a suitable countable noun of then the uncountable noun in order to form the plural of the um, uncountable noun for now in the exercise we you have a few few examples for example rain showers of rain or uh, rays of sunshine so all those can be uh, come uh, with the um, pdf i will be giving you the answers of all this uh, since we don't have any time to explain in this video so just remember that in order to form a plural for the uncountable noun we can we need to use a countable noun plus of then uncountable noun so remember that thing now some nouns can be both countable and uncountable nouns and some uncountable nouns are countable when it is used with the particular meanings in some context here they are telling the english in the english grammar we have a few uncountable nouns that can be used as countable in a particular context to give a meaning for example she is tired and needs her sleep there sleep is being used as uncountable but look at the next sentence i had a great sleep last night there sleep is being used as countable or what kind of paper should we use for the invitation cards or i have five purpose to study this year in the first sentence paper is being used as uncountable nouns now in order to tell about the parts of a course of study we have used i have five purpose to study this year so with this we are ending uh, this chapter today with a, uh, you will be getting a pdf uh, the answers will be there so make sure that you do uh, the uh, exercises and before ending uh, this a weekend so remember one thing never stop dreaming in your life never stop dreaming in your life because dreams make you go further dreams make you to study well dreams make you to climb up so wishing you the best weekend ahead thank you i remain